Jay walking on a track that's a renegade. Go against the grain, gotta do that every day. Hard, Hard to meditate, meditate when everything is MMA. Kick down so many times for better days. Let him hate, let him get afraid. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some interesting updates coming from the folks at Nvidia. So the folks at Nvidia have just announced the release period of the Nvidia Omniverse Machinima. And this and a couple of other things we announced within the ongoing GTC. So in case you want to follow up with the ongoing GTC, you know, you want to read and uh, watch some of the keynotes. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can check this one out. So with this said, the NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima is a tool set that offers a couple of tool sets and extensions that would enable artists to use game assets, game props, and also game scenes to create their own cinematic shots and also do some very nice animated video game storytelling. And it's also very interesting to see that for rendering creators will be having access to faster rendering by simply using the rtx and they'll also be able to have access to nvidia mdl library and for those who would like to also import third party libraries of course this one is also welcomed and this is for looks devs and also rendering something else which is also very interesting to see is a brand new companion tool which we've probably seen sometime okay so this one deals with the audio in and facial animation out now the folks at Nvidia are calling this audio to face. This new technology would simply take audio and convert these things into facial animation and it also gives you access to tweaking these things at the end of the day. So this for me is something that a lot of people would find joy working with. All you need to do is just make a simple record, plug that record in directly into the Machinima tool or into the audio to face tool and automatically you will be able to get facial animation and by far this is definitely going to save a lot of time and also make work easier alongside with this there's also a couple of extensions that we're making it to the omniverse machinima and they include the physics x the blast and also flow and these are physics related extensions for making things like volumetric fluid and also fracturing objects and it's also very interesting to know that the folks at nvidia are working hand in hand with a company known as wrench ai and this is to deliver motion capture directly into Machinima. And for those who would like to actually get this one, I did check it out to see if it is available for, you know, uh, Android or maybe for desktop. I wasn't able to see it. I only noticed that it was available for iOS devices. So for you to get informed when Machinima is going to be available and also when the audio to face is going to be available, you need to go over to the link in the description, click on the notify to get informed when this is here. Something else to keep in mind is the Omniverse Machinima works directly with Omniverse. So you need Omniverse and Omniverse currently is within its open beta. Although the folks at Nvidia have also announced that sooner than later, Omniverse is going to have an enterprise version. There's also some announcement about how much this is going to be costing and for what user group or you know what user base that this is uh, targeted for individual artists or maybe hobbyists this is going to be free and for group and companies that have up to 25 plus users they will have to pay 1800 per year for individual users and 25000 for the nucleus server and this is you know in case you want to get the most out of the nucleus you know you want to get everything working on the cloud this is for those guys and for companies that have over 500 plus creators or 500 plus users that will be working with the omniverse this is also going to be costing 1800 per user per year and they will have to pay 250,000 for the nucleus server and both of these just simply include the enterprise class support but for creators that just want to use the tool you know hobbyists creators with a very tiny budget you can actually go ahead and get this once it becomes available and uh, you can go through and play with it and the last time we talked about omniverse connectors we talked about some of the connectors that's available right now and for blender users there is no conversation about when it is coming if you want to follow up and see some of the features that are hypothetically going to be supported you can see these ones right here so this is more like it for those who would like to get this you know you want to work with it you can go ahead and take a look at the open beta download it and get started with it for those who want to read more about the omniverse machinima you can actually take a look at this one right now and uh you know read more about this and for those who would also prefer to take a look at the gtc you know you want to follow up with the keynotes you want to you know be involved and know what and what is going on with this you can also join for free right here and follow this up as it's lasting for a couple of days before it ends tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this 
you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update. And not like, see you guys again with a tutorial update. Free Friday, Tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.